you may have heard something like all the ancestors aren't necessarily good ancestors but what does that even really mean like what is our definition of good as opposed to all the other infinite layers respectively and after that there's a there's different contexts of even such a thing as a concept of after because the different types of after is per what is left over or per what is a particular type of byproduct from a certain end and a start from a dimension and a time space itself because what we are after we die it's not the same what we are after is tomorrow or what we are after the earth dies so there's different types of afters but what is my point in bringing the type of after up well depending on the vantage point of a being they have a bigger bandwidth and they could see different types of time spaces respectively and they, the bigger the oversoul is they could see more afters simultaneously so if they could see more afters and that and i like i i'm like i already spoke about this like years ago but i'm just gonna i'm just honestly like this raw content i'm just refilling it in i'm just refreshing myself because i've already said most of this stuff but because like i speak on like you know the concept of after in a whole different way in a more structured way in accordance to the human design um gate system and what the human design gate system is has 64 gates and they they're used in different ways and they're used from different ways and obviously I understand how everyone could like approach those and like interpret those differently and more or less more importantly is grow with those and one of the gates thereof is a gate called after completion and before completion and after completion is gate 63 before gate completion is gate 64 and at the tethered end of the telomeres the DNA tips are called telomeres but metaphorically the telomeres of the I Ching gates themselves what connects their infinity symbol at the center is gate 64 and 63 and gate 1 respectively in a different context just if you're going from a number sequence from 1 to 64 but 64 and 63 they're denoting a certain theme within the message of the I Ching gate and how it ultimately corresponds to some type of season through how the solar system goes and circulates itself differently in different contexts with different weather formats and weather systems and somehow like a piece of the of the of the travel radius through um the different contexts of the neutral admin cadman body to the to the post admin cadman bodies like or the sub galactic you know body that we're in just the container that we're in there's different de there's different denotions of how there's fixed energies through that travel and through the circuit within the circuit within you know the object within the object within the circuit object within the object circuit and within that there's certain demarcations of an energetic theme as it travels through a season and as a certain part of the self reacts to a certain part of the season as that progresses evolves and transforms and transcends so what am i really trying to say here is you know, there's de demarcations of like elemental themes that the I Ching gate system itself gandered and gallied to captivate and, and, and be like a receptacle for some type of energetic seasonal theme. And that energetic seasonal theme, it, there's, a there's a bunch of lore behind it. Little do we know. There's a bunch of like metaphysical lore. There's a bunch of like, you know, um, esoteric lore. There's some background mythology, mythology story that is with all the characters and beyond all the characters because aside from the setting of the metaphysical theater what all the characters stand on is something of a bigger environment and that bigger environment it's not to be confused with our environment it's a higher environment that we're more or less having unique dissensions or ascensions to thereof or just a minor percolation reciprocation thereof because everything is like you know everything is of the soul every particle is of the soul but it's more so compressed and it's it's revert it's inside out reverse engineered it's more densialized and densified for however it is so you know and for however it is so 
there's different temperaments of the solidification there's different temperaments of the consolidation and within the different temperaments of that which was just said there's different themes and interactions and plays from how the seasons change based on the how the foundation is shifting and how the foundation is shifting it's creating a unique magnetic monopole on a on a macro level to micro collective level on an environmental level to create the seasons to begin to begin with that which surrounds the seasons so um after all of this is like um the after of this is like is like we're all dying in unique ways and once we die we die every day though every moment we die i'm, I'm speaking metaphorically and within that metaphoricalness all the ancestors aren't good ancestors ancestors but here's the main kicker point right here it's like we're at a unique 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 time in this present moment where it's like where it's like everybody has a new chance to evolve and have a unique specific evolution and within that unique specific evolution that all the old adages could more or less go out the window too because all the ancestors aren't good ancestors that's not necessarily true because we're all evolving more or less to a new potential of of a higher balance and that was the main point and that's the that's the new after because there's different contexts of the i ching gates and there's different contexts of after you have the best life ever bam bada boom bada bing get that fed a <laughs>